Okay, we're putting a 42 inch tractor mulch kit on an errands from 2011. This is the cover that goes in place under here. Goes on there. These latch pieces are grab onto here. And over here. So it looks like you can just leave the deflector in place. You just put this plug in here. This is a 42 inch deck. Just got through taking a blade off. It's a 5 8 inch wrench. Had to use a hammer to kind of tap on the end of the wrench a little bit. This is the original blade from 2011. And I've sharpened this with the grinder, but the part that's on the uphill side is completely gone over here. So that blade's been on there about, say, five years, roughly. Bower's got about 85 hours on it. First time I've taken the blades off. These are curved this way because I've gone through and ground up with the grinder. And the top portion here seems to be, this is grass side, so this is normally like this. So it's the part facing the deck that is worn off, probably because of some sticks or something that's got in here. This whole kit was only 49 bucks. It's cheaper for me to buy this than buy one mail order. This is on a V2 20 horsepower. I got one brick here underneath the wheel. And I'm going to go ahead and put that blade on there. There's the screw. This particular model's got the battery in the front and the gas tank in the rear which is kind of unusual there it is in place got it torqued up it's probably the easiest one to replace I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side okay on the left side. Got a 5 8 inch wrench and I got a block here to stop it from rotating. Of course everything's off from the mower. Got a big old block holding the sand up. And I tapped this with the hammer a bunch of times. It's kind of tough. And finally it'll come off. Now this end of the blade on mine is razor sharp on the back side. You cut the shit out of you. Not on the front side, but the back side. It's like a razor blade. And there's the new blade I put on. It's one on the left side. But I restrained the blade. Of course everything in the mower is off. Then I went ahead and held the uh a wrench and then tap it. This hammer is kind of a puny hammer, but it's just when I happen to have Andy tap it a bunch of times and finally see if it was rotating. Sometimes you put a little mark on it just to see if you're actually getting somewhere. But this has been on since the factory, so it's kind of tough. Once once I got it loose, it's okay. A little star piece that goes on. These are replaceable mandrels in case you uh, you can get the whole assembly. I want to say for 18, 25, 30 bucks. It's got the aluminum piece and the bearings. You can just get the bearings yourself, but they're totally. This 
is just sharp as can be on the back side. Strange. This is the part that I've ground away with a grinder. And then this is the back side that's up on here is completely gone. When I was reaching in there to try to hold this thing, this here was, God, that's just wicked how sharp that is. So I ended up using a two by two here to hold the blade from revolving. I guess we're rolling again. This is this side toward the grass. So I'm gonna put it up here like this. Tighten it up. Of course, this is this side toward the grass. Now I'm going to torque this up. I think it's 45 foot pounds. Got it torqued up. 9646611. That's the serial number 42 inch. And mine isn't on there, but this fits. Pretty much all these are the same. Okay, this guy was really tight to put on. It's almost like I need to put an extra link. I might re-drill the hole over here. Probably what I'm going to end up doing. That was a booger beer. You could put it on, but you got to really manhandle it. See, that's way stretched more than this one over here. I'll do that next time. I'm going to bore a hole here. Move that off. Probably the least destructive thing to do. Now, this part here is for 26, 38, 42, 46. The instructions. Forty-eight and fifty-four have a, an extra wash and stuff that wasn't used. This was some parts left over because the kit, I guess the plant, the package kit of little parts doesn't use those because that kind of threw me for a loop. So if I had the same set of little parts, they still in there. I was going to buy this last year, but the number of my mower not being on there kind of threw me for a loop, and then I was going to get one online, and then this, this was only like, I think, 45 or 49 bucks, Home Depot, so I went ahead and went for it. Seems to fit perfectly. I think the ones online were more than that. 